gonna have some fun today with the Milwaukee Fuel One Key Gen 3 Impact Driver. All right, um, we're gonna do a little torque test on it. And the reason um, you guys hear me talk about this one so much is that, you know, you can do a lot of different stuff with this. Now, obviously it's an impact driver, okay? This is a torque test. But obviously with something with 2,000 inch pounds of torque, okay? We're looking at something that has around 160 to 170 foot pounds. All right, now, car lug nuts, SUV lug nuts, truck lug nuts, mostly all under 150 pounds. But we're gonna see what kind of torque this Milwaukee has. We're gonna start at 100 foot pounds with a 21 millimeter lug nut. As you can see, that is set to a hundred. All right, easy as pie, easy as absolute pie. We're gonna keep going with this guys live. No stopping, no nothing here. All right, we're gonna go up to 120 foot pounds. All right, let's do this. Okay. And again, hopefully you guys can see this. We're at the zero and at the 120 mark. All right, 120. All right, on setting four. All right, like it was nothing, 120. Go up to 140. All right, 140 foot pounds. One forty. One fall. Oh. Man, look at look at that. Look at that. Again, this has the highest IPM out of any impact driver you can get. All right, forty three hundred IPM. Absolutely crazy. All right. 
a lot of times when I use my, you know, non one key version, I got to set it at setting number three. The IPM is just too quick. Hundred and forty. Man. Crazy. All right, let's go up to one sixty. Hundred and sixty foot pounds with the Milwaukee Fuel One Key Gen Three Impact Driver. It's pretty, so pretty. One sixty. Let's go to the Dodge Ram. This is what happens when you have forty three hundred IPM. All right. This is this is the first time. This is, this is a brand new socket adapter. Okay, um, if you're going to do this for real, like you're actually wanting to change a tire, I would put it in mode three. All right, 4,300 IPM is way too much. You know, especially trying to, you know, take a nut off at 160 foot pounds. You're just going to break these. All right, so. Go to mode number three. Obviously, this is for testing purposes. But just switch her over. All right, you can even hear the difference. Um, I believe mode three is still very high. I think it's like 35 or 3600 IPM. But 4,300 is, is insane, all right? But we're going to move over to the Dodge Ram. Real quick, I just want to show you a size comparison of uh, these two here. This is the rigid octane mid-torque impact wrench all right now obviously this is not amigo amigo but again really just to show you how compact this little milwaukee is and i don't even know if this does it justice because they both have a three on it all right and actually this would need to go right there okay both have three amp hour batteries on them right and We've seen this have no problem with up to 160 foot pounds. All right. But that's probably going to be about the max because of that IPM. It's just going to start snapping socket adapters. All right. So we're going to go to 150 on a 22 millimeter and see how she does. Might snap, but we're going to check it out. We'll see. All right, hopefully you can see that at 150. All right, 150. All right. 
at 150 pounds and we got a new socket adapter brand new Ryobi these are great great cheap socket adapters but let's see what happens here One fifty. Wow, it's crazy. Absolutely crazy. Intense power here, boys. We'll catch you on the flip.